Good morning. Uh, before we get started, I had a uh, somebody sent me a message, uh, Nicole, and uh, she wanted me to give Kenny, her soon-to-be father-in-law, a shout-out. Uh, he said he's been watching for quite a while. He had a career of 45 years of driving on the road. That's a long time. So anyway, this is my shout out from Nicole to Kenny. I appreciate it. Watching. I thank you for watching. Uh, you know, when I started making uh, YouTube videos, my, my first thing was uh, try to uh, represent or give a positive image for the trucking industry. Um, I never really meant to be uh, a how-to guy of how to be a truck driver. Uh, it was just supposed to be kind of my life on the road. And I wanted to give a glimpse of people who really didn't know anything about the trucking industry, kind of an insight of, you know, some of the stuff we go to. Uh, I do get a lot of older retired truck drivers, just like Kenny, um, kind of watch my videos to kind of bring back the memories and see what it's like now on the road compared to 45 years ago. All right, uh, anyway, let's get going. Uh, we got about an hour and a half up to uh, where we gotta go. And uh, here, I'm gonna spin you around real quick. It is kinda snowy, dusting, nothing crazy. But uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get in much accumulation. Uh, it's kinda hard to see because I got the camera on the mount. That's that new Mac right there. And I'll tell you, I'm... Uh, I don't know what it is about those new Macs. I kind of like the, their, their their stance, the way they look. They're pretty good. I've actually thought about going and looking at one <laughs> just to go see what it looks like on the inside. All right, let's get going, and um, we'll uh, talk to you in a bit. All right, I think we're ready. Had to uh, log in on my logbook there. The truck's been warming up for a while. I did go inside, get breakfast. That nice omelet for breakfast. We're, uh, we're going to run up one or 31 up to 94, something like that. Run that way. Like I said, we've got about an hour and a half, and it is, I don't know what time it is here. Hang on a second. I can't see. There we go. Hang on one second. Let me see where this truck is going. Uh, he's going in a truck stop. All right. So it's just a little dusting. I don't think it's in too much to worry about. It is, temperature says it's 18 degrees outside. I did sleep with the uh, generator running last night. Uh, and it's doing good. Well, I should say it's doing, it's doing okay. I changed the oil when we were down in Florida. I don't know if I told you guys that or not, but I did get the oil changed in the little generator. Now, the exhaust uh, pipe has cracked again, and it's not too bad. It's a little noisy, but uh, it's not too bad. And I have patched it up enough that uh, I think I just need to replace the pipe, and I actually have the pipe in here, so... If I get somewhere where it's warm enough to crawl under the truck, I'll go ahead and replace that pipe. As for right now, if you park next to me, it might be a little noisy. So here we are making another U-turn again. The little restaurant in that truck stops. It's kind of old school diner. It's pretty good. I was looking forward to breakfast this morning, so it's pretty good. Let's get going. We'll get a little bit of road footage on the dusting of the snow, so that might be pretty. Woo, look at this guy, man. That car just pulled out in front of him, too. So, all right. Let's, uh, let's head up north and I'll talk to you in a bit.
we are almost where we need to be. And I just realized that I have been here before. In a quarter but it's mile, been a destination will be on the right. It has been a long time. Uh, the other thing is I called them yesterday and uh, the address they gave me didn't match right here. So I did some Googling and I had half of one address and half of the other. This place has another facility about 10 miles away. And uh, supposedly they checked it out and it goes here, but I loaded over here one time. It's been a long time ago. It would have been nice to, uh, to reload over here. Continue on Lake Michigan Drive for one mile. But, oh. So from right here, we got about uh, a little over an hour. There, we're gonna go hide out at a little truck stop. Until tomorrow. Alright, I don't need you Keep anymore. Left. I don't need you anymore. I see I gotta remember how to do this. Now the last time they loaded me, I loaded here. I never had delivered here. Look how bad the wind's blowing though. Let's see. Shipping and receiving. Wait a minute. I'm reading the wrong side. There's two companies there. Alright. This one. This way, exit, what's that say, door 18? But anyway, the wind's blowing and I got on tarp. Hopefully, I can do it inside, but I have a feeling it's gonna be outside. Door 18, 18, 18. What we got? Is it looking for door numbers? I don't see none. There's an 11.
All right, we made it over here to the little truck stop. Uh, I didn't know this place had a little death pump on the side there, so any any time I have opportunity to uh, get some death, that's easy. Uh, I stopped and got some death, but there's the, it's just the death. That's all it is. The uh, the little handle things inside here. You see right there. But anyway, so anyway, we topped it off. It only took eight gallons. I wanted to show you this tarp. Look how big this tarp got. Because it's so cold outside, it's like 15 degrees. That uh, folding that tarp's like folding a cracker. It uh, it doesn't bend very well. But all right, um, we're gonna stay here. This is where we're staying, and uh, we're gonna call it quits. And then we load tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll get back in the truck. Uh, talk to you later.